I'm Situ Leila bin Tebelwa and my metric number is 262228. So this video is a video assignment was supervised by Prof. Dr. Azila Kasim. As you can see the title below, I will talk about the sustainable tourism development in Burke Island, uh, Malay Aklan in Philippines. Before I talk about tourism sustainable development in Burke Island, let me brief a little bit about tourism in Philippines. Tourism is an important sector of Philippine economy. In 2019, uh, the travel and tourism industry contribute 12.7% to the country GDP. The Philippines is an archipelagic country composed of 7,641 islands with 81 provinces divided into 17 regions. The Philippines is a land rich in natural resources, saintly calls, and friendly smile. Here, everybody is welcome to be a part of fun, from the captivating coastline to the creative native craft to the unique gastronomic experience, you will find the kind of fun is uniquely yours. Next, I will move to introduction of Burke Island. Burke Island is located uh, northwest of Penny Island. Aklan Province is located near the town of Malay Municipality and has a population of about 60,000 people. Barge is divided into three areas Yapa, Balabangan, Manok Manok. Barak Barake Island is one of popular local tourist destinations in Philippines and with sandy white beaches stretching for 4 kilometers, The beach located on the western side of the island from Balabang to Manok Manok is the most popular spot. The island has two seasons. The dry season from May to October and the rainy season from November to April. The peak season for tourists to visit the island is from April to May. In addition, uh, access to Boraki Island from Kalibu Airport is also convenient. There are 30 flights from Manila to Kalibu per day and there is also a flight from Cebu Club, Busuanga once or twice a day. Traveling by plane from Kalibu Airport to Katislan Port is about 90 minutes which leads on a high speed boat to Kakban Port is 50 minutes. Next is Sustainable Tourism Development at Boroke Island. The district Boroke take pride in its eco practice which support the worldwide call for sustainable tourism. Various conservation and preservation practice are woven into the resort core value to ensure sustainable operation and growth is just not the property but the local community as well. Boroke is an example of how tourism growth can have negative effect if it's not handled correctly. An island covering 10.3 square kilometers, Boroke hosted one third of all the country visitors in 2019. Unchecked development, insufficient wastewater treatment facilities, and overpopulation lead to an emergency task force finding widespread environmental violations. The majority of sewerage uh, facilities were draining waste into the sea and polluting the water. Next is the issue. Burke Island shut to visitor for rehabilitation. In 2019, so-called over-tourism has begun to emerge as a serious and dangerous phenomenon. Various city, uh, cultural heritage sites, recreational area, and island have been affected by this phenomenon. Over-tourism is often associated with extremely crowded tourism destination and has become a topic of great concern to for all stakeholders. In order to rehabilitate the island, Prison President uh, Rodrigo Duterte ordered its closure to tourists for six months on April 26, 2018. Why? Why this happened? Because the intensification of tourism activities are poorly planned environment infrastructure. The negative socio-economic impact on the indigenous population contribute to Boracay becoming both uncrawled and uncrawdable. Pollution, partly due to lack of a proper sewage system, become a major issue on this island. At some beaches, for instance, the water contains fecal coli morphol, for example, E. coli.
new rule for a Boraki Island is quota on tourist visit based on the island carrying uh, capacity. Next is regulation regarding tourist attitude and behavior. For example, smoking, drinking alcohol are forbidden on which beach, the most visited beach on this island. New regulation regarding local attitudes and behavior. For example, resting pig or chicken for our living is forbidden. Uh, only the hotel compliance with requirement of the, the, the Department of Environment and Natural Resources and the Department of Interior and Local Government and accredited by Department of Tourism can open again. Tourists can only come to the island if they reserve a room at one of these hotels. All hotels must be connected to a proper survey treatment system root by the new project to resolve congestion issue, trash, uh, and anatrized building will be removed from the wetland. Building within building within 13 uh, meters of the shoreline will be destroyed. Next is towards a more sustainable in Boraki Island. This limit of Boraki Island have resulted in more sustainable tourism practice since its reopening in October 2018. Compliance with the maximum carrying capacity has been satisfactory and the Civil Aerotic Board issued in April 2019 a reminder to the airlines asking them to follow the government visitor limit. Only 353 establishments are allowed to provide accommodation which is much lower than before the closure in April 2018. Tourist demand is being met without exceeding the infractional carrying capacity of the island. In April 2019, the Department of Tourism launched the campaign hashtag more fun forever, promoting a brand of tourism is far more sustainable and inclusive. An island. Chiaman Island is the east coast of Peninsular Malaysia. It's blessed with beautiful and diverse coral reef. In 1994, Tioman was announced as a marine park to conserve its marine life from impact of commercial fishing and other anthropogenic activities. A merge of tourism brought new opportunities to local community for generating income and development of the island. Pollution is identified as one of the main environmental problems in this island. Corals also are subject to damage by inexperienced snorkelers and diverse, diverse, diverse. Trampling activities and direct contact make physical damage to coral reef ecosystem. Pressure change the state of marine ecosystem which result in environmental and environmental impacts such as a coral degradation. Tioman Island can learn from Rocky Island. So first one is examining the current state of island as ecosystem. Second, the campaign Known as Cinta Itioman, the Cinta Itioman program is an integrated approach to assist in increasing the ecological and social resilience of the island of Tioman. Third is an effective recycling system to improve waste management. And lastly, is increase the ecological resilience of the coral reef around Tioman Island. So I think that's all from me. Uh, I hope you enjoy this video. Um, thank you 